Hello viewers, my name is Muhammad Farooq. These days I am sharing with you the summaries of top 500 all-time best-selling books. These books are on self-help, on help in becoming successful in life, becoming successful in business, becoming successful in job, becoming successful in relationships. However, one concept is continuously being repeated in all these books and that concept is cognitive behavioral therapies. So, I have to explain this CBT every time in every video and as I am trying to make the summary within 4 to 5 minutes, so that CBT is taking time. I thought it is better to make a complete separate video for the CBT and then I will put this video wherever we need put the reference of this video then you can understand the CBT. One thing you have to understand that it is bread and butter of all the psychologists. All the psychologists sitting inside your country, inside your city, whatever they are doing, this CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy is their bread and butter. This is what they do. And now what is it? To understand it, first of all, we have to understand that we humans are emotional species. We are driven by emotions. And uh, it is believed that, that these emotions can be corrected through logic, through asking the questions. Now, let me give you two examples, uh, exam one example of two people. One person, he woke up early in the morning and then he was angry on his boss and he thought he, he do not like his boss, so he has to go to his office and uh, then suddenly he think that I will not go to office. And then what happens that uh, during the day it rains and uh, he, get, he, will, he, he will get angry because of the rain that why rain happened. And then he fights with his family and then he fights with the with his kids or with his wife or family members. While well, the other person he completes uh, his uh, sleep and uh, he thinks to spend time with his family that day he is very happy and he thinks that he will not go to office. And uh, at the same time it rains at the same day it rains. And then he feels very happy, he will sp he spends his time with his family, he go with his family happily outside, so he will play, he plays with his kids. If we see the process what is going on, first of all we have a thought, we have a thought that the first person had a thought that boss is not good, work is not good. Then what happened, that thought created a feeling, thought created a feeling. And now, whatever events are happening in his life, he is disliking the events. Why? Because he had a bad thought, bad feeling and bad events and bad behavior. Bad thoughts, bad feeling, bad events, bad behavior. If you see, if you see the other person, good thought that thank, thanks, I have completed my sleep hours. So, he was very happy. Second thought, it created a good feeling that I will spend time with my family. Event happened and he saw that event happily that oh it rained, it is a, it's a day to enjoy, I will go with my family outside and we will enjoy the weather. So, fourth thing is again the behavior. So, what is happening that our thoughts become our feelings, that feelings impact our internal environment, external environment through the events and then it leads to the behavior. So, the psychologists believe that that these emotions, these thoughts can be corrected. For instance, if a therapist, if you meet some therapist, he might ask you that why hit, why you hate your boss. So, then he will ask continuously probing questions and then sometimes you realize that it is your own fault. Sometimes you realize that you do not know a skill and because of that skill you do not like your boss. Some students do not like the studies and if we explore it in detail, if we ask them logically that question again and again, then we, we end up having the right solutions. In the companies, although this is not linked with the with the emotional intelligence, the five whys concept that it is said that if you ask the five questions on any problem, uh, the chances are that you will uh, you will end up uh, on the on the root cause on the main reason of why that problem is happening. So five reasons logic can also be used in this emotional therapy. I'm sh uh, sure now your CBT is clear, cognitive behavioral theory. It says that our thoughts become our feeling, feeling impact on events and then events leads to the behavior. 
Thank you so much. Please share this with others. You can study it further in our books. We have uh, more than 500 books summaries. I have uploaded some book summaries. I will keep uploading books uh, summaries. So, after reading the books, I hope you will also become an expert in your field, uh, whatever you are doing. And uh, you will also, I, uh, these books will also motivate you to work hard 